It was one of those things where I, I kind of wanted to make a song that kind of let the world know where I was at at that moment in time. So what does hip hop need to do? I think the braggadocio money cash hoes thing needs to be dead. -ed. I feel like that's holding us back as a culture, as black people. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, that doesn't advance us in any way, shape or form. We've been doing that same theme for years now. It's been like, what, four decades of the same old <laughs> Sorry for my language. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, if you're gonna be an artist, there's a time where you just have to, you know, embrace the, the responsibility and understand that the power of music is something so special and be able to do it on this magnitude where you reach millions of people. It's like, why not use that for good? Why not tell kids something that they can connect with and use in their life? With music, it was like, nobody's gonna take that from me. You know what I'm saying? Because there was things that I was dealing with as a youth at this school that I didn't talk to people about. That probably kept me from putting my best foot forward with my academics, you know? And the music, it was a platform for me to express myself and also realize that I'm not that crazy. That there's other kids out there that might be depressed or lonely, dealing with suicide, things like this. And my mission statement since day one, and I'm getting so worked up talking about this, all I wanted to do was help kids not feel alone and stop kids from committing suicide. Those kids don't know that that means that much to me, and, and it does. So like, I, I wasn't really that big with talking, you know, and, and having such a presence online because I was weird about it. But now that I got a grip over it, it's, it's no problem for me. I love that I can, you know, just hit up a kid randomly and just make their whole year, you know, and just right, give right. them some confidence or something. That's using it for good, you know, rather than me posting a picture of some jewelry or some new thousand dollar sneakers I bought that doesn't do anybody any good. What about the kids who, you know, you never really had an artist where you connected with them all across the board, you know? And I think that that's my job. I'm just really just trying to guide people and, and, and help people because, you know, loneliness is, is a terrible, terrible thing, man. And, and, and if you don't know how to conquer it, it can eat you alive. I dealt with suicide um, for the past five years, you know, like there wasn't a week or a day that didn't go by where I was just like, you know, I want to check out, you know, and I know what that feels like. And I know it comes from loneliness. I know it comes from not having self-worth, not loving yourself. And these are things that, you know, kids don't have music that can coach them and give them that guidance. I didn't have that. Yeah, man, I watched everybody around me, uh, you know, and I think, and I, and I, and I kind of use, I want kids to look at me at, and understand what not to do. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was dealing with my drug issues back in 2010, 2009, you know, I was just heavy into cocaine. You know, it was, too, it was like two kind of life lessons back to back that I experienced in, in 2010. And you know, my daughter's birth and being arrested were those two things because I think I had already started toning down my cocaine use at the beginning of that year. But then I was the king of like something tragic happening or something I felt was tragic or stressful and then spiraling back into it, just needing any excuse to be like, all right, I'm gonna go do cocaine now because I'm upset and I'm dealing with something I don't know how to deal. It's just like my way of copping out and avoiding my issues. Wow. You know, so it was like a block, it was like maybe a couple months would go by, I'd be in Hawaii you know, working on some stuff with Kanye, and I never did cocaine or anything around those guys. That was like my time to detox when I would be away. I embraced it. I embraced, I embraced the fear, the danger. I enjoyed the fact that I was going in uncharted territory. It was like a sense of wonder for me. And I can't say I was one of those people that was into like having thrills and, you know, getting some type of stimulation from that. But it was nothing like saying like, yo, I'm gonna go out and pursue something and I know I'm gonna do it and nobody's gonna tell me I can't. And everybody that doesn't believe it, I'm gonna prove it to them sooner or later. And that's just, and that's what, just it what it is.